Here are the parts and the functions of the microscope. Up top here, we have the eyepiece. And you'll notice that the eyepiece is where you look through into the microscope. And you'll notice it has a 10 times magnification, that eyepiece. Here we have the arm of the microscope, which connects the eyepiece to the base. Here we have the course adjuster, which moves the stage up and down. When you move it towards you, it moves it up. When you move it away from you, it moves it down. We have the, right here, the small knob is the fine adjustment knob, which you don't need to move very much, just a tiny little movements to fine tune your specimen. Here we have the objectives. We have the lowest power objective, which is the red objective, four times objective. If I twist here into place and I hear it lock, we have the medium power objective, the yellow objective, which magnifies 10 times. And then if I click one more time, we have the high power objective, and that one is 40 times. So, for example, if I'm looking at a specimen under low power, I am not looking at it only four times. I need to remember, my eyepiece is 10 times and my objective is four times. What do I do with those numbers? Do I add them? Do I subtract them, multiply them, divide them? Well, let's think about it. If this is 10 times and this is four times, I need to multiply these numbers together which gives me, and I'm looking at an object under low power at 40 times, much bigger than I see it with my eye. So then same goes for the medium objective, because this objective is 10 times, and if this lens is 10 times, 10 times 10, I'm looking at my object 100 times. Then if I switch it to my high power one more time, remember that's 40 times magnification. And then up here again, my eyepiece, 10 times. So really when I look at something on high power, it is magnifying my object 400 times. Pretty amazing. So another part of our microscope is the stage. This is not where we dance, but it is where we place our slide. Our slide goes onto the stage. Here we have our stage clips. You'll notice if you push them in the back and you can move them right to left. This is what holds your slide in place so that specimen in that slide doesn't move around. Right here, we have this knob right here that has numbers on it, one through five. This is called a diaphragm. What a diaphragm does, it is allows a certain amount of light to come through. So if you see those little circles underneath, you can see the amount of light that is able to go through. Obviously, if I have a smaller circle, I'm not gonna have a lot of light, but if I have a bigger circle, a lot of light's gonna be able to come through. So I can change that depending on my specimen. The next one we have here is our light source. Obviously, our light source is going to give light um, to our specimen so we're able to view it better. If you look into this eyepiece and you can't see anything, if it's really dark and black, it's because your light's not on, you need to turn it on. And lastly, we have our base, which supports this microscope and keeps everything in its nice and working order. That is the parts of the microscope.